guys. We are gonna barbecue some sandwiches today. So what I've done, I'm getting the coals ready right now. What I've done here is I've gone to the store and bought stuff to make sandwiches. Now, I didn't know what kind of sandwiches I wanted. I want a grilled cheese, I want a club sandwich, maybe like a wrap. I don't know, so I just got everything. I got turkey, bacon, ham, uh, roast beef, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, onions, cheese. I got a, got two different types of bread here. So, we're gonna get these coals going and get started. You guys, don't leave your lighters out in the rain, okay? That doesn't work around here. I got another one. Don't worry. Alright, you guys. I got some more beer too. And some more ice because my ice melted. Uh, hopefully it lasts a little bit longer this time. But, just want to show you. I did not forget the beer. We got beer, liquor, food barbecue that's what it's about here comes jasmine you guys like i said within seconds of this charcoal lighting up this dog is here she knows man she knows what's up she likes my cooking guys that should tell you something that this ain't a joke this is the good shit she knows what i'm doing out here she knows what she's gonna get oh jasmine i think she's gonna go take a shit actually Okay, you guys, this is something I've never tried before. Uh, really grilling bread on the barbecue grill. So there's a couple different methods I've thought up, and uh, I'm going to try, try them all out. Why not? I will give you all the results. And, uh, I mean, we're going to make it work. You know how we do. Oh, yeah. It's Cowboys draft day. Go Cowboys. That was Cowboys for life, baby. All right, we're going to go ahead and crack our first beer, guys. We can't wait anymore. It's goddamn... Stick with the light beer. Goddamn, 11 in the morning, but I can't wait. I, mean, I got this barbecue going. It's just, just like a natural reaction. Grab a beer, you know what I mean? It's like a dog comes running, and I start the fucking charcoals. Well, my natural instinct is to go to the cooler, get me a goddamn beer. So that's what I did. Don't judge me. It's Saturday. Even if it wasn't Saturday, I'd do this shit anyway. guys I got the, the grill on here now I'm gonna let this heat up so that 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 grill gets nice and hot and what this does is when you put the food on it then that establishes a dominance between the two and if you put the food on a not hot grill then your food might take over dominance and cool that grill down and you won't get cooked in like you could if you had heated up the grate first so by doing this we're going to establish dominance with the grill over the food and that's what you want okay guys i'm going to talk to you a little bit about cheese letting the grill warm up a little bit uh, now my six-year-old calls this dog cheese you know it's the little singles in the packages my six-year-old daughter, daughter refuses to eat this however my one-year-old will eat this whole pack <laughs> with nothing else. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Now, this stuff, just regular medium cheddar, is more real cheese, I guess. Probably not, but anyways, it seems to taste better. Some people, if you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. I mean, but the trick is, if you put one slice of this and one slice of this, no one knows the difference. It's like when a crack dealer sells you crack, he's cut it with something that's not really cracked, but kind of imitates it. Same thing, just cut your real cheese with the dog cheese, okay? Okay, you guys, we got some of our stuff ready here. Uh, we got some tomatoes and some lettuce here, all picked out and ready to go. Got some other stuff too, but this is stuff we had to prep. Now, lettuce is a great filler, guys. Um, you can make a sandwich look 
just excellent with lettuce and it's, it's not like an overpowering flavor so you can use as much as you want pretty much great for wraps too same with tomatoes guys tomatoes don't want to use too much of put some on your sandwich put some in your wrap keep it easy though maybe season them up a little bit salt and pepper i'm gonna use some uh barbecue seasoning and some smoke of course hey guys kind of made a mistake here i blocked my cooler now i need a beer so I'm going to have to move all the shit. Anyways, we'll get the rundown going here. We got the real cheese. We got the dog cheese. We got the Roma tomatoes. We got some bread. I used mayonnaise on some of it because I'm a lazy bitch. And it does the same fucking thing anyway. So now we got the lettuce. We got some tortillas. We got some meat. We got that stuff. And we got this cheap shit. Okay. So we're going to make some sandwiches with this shit right now after a good beer. Hey guys, I've thrown on the bread. Bacon's nice and cooked up like we like it. Now this wheat bread is going to be my uh, club sandwich. We're going to have a, a grilled cheese, grilled ham and cheese probably. And like I said, one dog cheese for real cheese. Just cut it just enough. Right, saving a little bit of money. Probably gives it a little bit of extra flavor, different flavor. We got mahogany. No, not mahogany. We got the hickory smoke going today, guys. Along with the bacon. Yeah. Cheese. It's going to be good. Anyways, I'm going to get this closed. Try to get some more stuff going on it. Grilled cheese, guys. I like to get my, my ham nice and warm. Uh, now with the club and the BLT, I like... Well, I mean the BLT, obviously, guys hot bacon but with the club sandwich and other sandwiches I like to keep cold meat now let me check on this again can't have it open too long guys those wood chips will catch fire real quick they're burning your bread up but you can just check on the bottoms there that one's just almost doing perfect yeah they're looking nice I add some stuff to it guys and uh, we'll get back with you it's almost done this is a quick one quick process hey guys Start building some of our sandwiches here. I just want to show you. It's okay if you end up burning um, a little bit. All you gotta do, get your pocket knife out, guys. And scrape that until it turns the color. That is more appetizing. It's hot, guys. I use both hands for this. So. You can see what's going on there. I'm going to show you the finished product here. So. Okay, guys. Now it don't look so bad. All you got to do is uh, find you another plate. There you go. Find you another plate. Flip this guy over to the good side. Now, she'll never know, right? Okay, last but not least, guys. We got these tortillas. Add your cheese to them real quick. Uh, we're going to melt the cheese on there. And into a nice wrap okay guys we just put our dog cheese on these wraps I'm gonna go ahead and start stacking on this right now lost a little bit of bacon I think Jasmine's gonna get that one anyways put some bacon out on there we're instantly just gonna put um, lettuce tomato onion and some ham in there right now guys and this this will be ready and we'll be eating you can see the cheese is melted we got it stacked up we're gonna try to Plate them up right now. See if I can get you on there. This one's kind of getting a little toasty. Uh, you could also just call it a torta. You know? Like the Mexicans eat tortas. Is that what it is? Anyways, guys, there we are. I'm gonna get you a picture of all the products here in just a minute. Oh. Well, that sucks. This fucking cocksucking bird. I was just trying to eat my food. I went inside for two seconds. He was down here on my fucking club sandwich. Pretty little thing, but fuck, man. You could ask. All right, you guys, these are our final products here. This is a real quick process. It was hard to do all this at once, but this is our club sandwich. This is my main concern because that's the one I wanted. Love me a club sandwich, to be honest. You can see it's not deli quality, but it is charcoal grill. You don't get that out of deli. Next is our wraps, guys. 
They're a little overcooked. They cooked extremely fast. Didn't have time to build them. But I'm not worried about a little bit of burnt, to be honest. Um, if you don't like it, you could try it again. I mean, they're just tortillas. You can just dump all the shit into a new tortilla and try it again. <laughs> low temp on these guys. Real low temp. Now, this is our grown-up grilled cheese. You can see the cheese just melting down. It's just oozing. That's that dog cheese, guys. It gives it that oozy, oozy flavor that, or that oozy feeling that you kind of want in a grilled cheese. It also has ham and a couple pieces of bacon on it, guys. Got those grill marks. This looks spectacular. I can't wait to just dig in. Okay, you guys. Just got done stacking my BLT. Two pieces of cheese, as you can see. Let that warm up a little bit. Anyways, I decided to go ahead with the BLT. Because why not, right? We got everything to make it right here. So, as you can see, we got the bacon, the lettuce, and the tomato. Plus the cheese. And this is on a white bread, guys. Nothing special. There you have it, guys. Four easy sandwiches. You can cook on a grill and then press any crowd. I mean, I wouldn't be serving them anything like that, but um, the rest of the stuff is, I mean, if you put it on a real plate, put it on a table, picnic table even, people are gonna be like, wow, that's impressive, because you did it on the grill. And it does give it a lot of smoky flavor too, so. There you have it, guys. Four sandwiches right there. It's been episode five, I think, right? Episode five, Beer Belly Barbecue, guys. Our little friend came to visit. I think he's like eyeballing my food right now. He's kind of freaking me out. Like, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on so I don't get like my eyes pecked out or something. Guys, I don't know what this fucking bird's doing, but he's getting extremely too close for me. I mean, he just wants some of my food, but I don't want to give it to him. Maybe we'll give him some lettuce. Here, oh, oh. Here. There you go. There you go, buddy.